Hey Taurus, welcome and welcome back to the community. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Let's hop right into your reading and see what is coming up for you for the month of July. What will July bring to you? Let's see. Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We ask for the most highest divine messages. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm in this moment. Messages for Taurus for the highest good and highest good of all of those that are involved. All right. So let's get your spread out here. We have the King of Cups. We have the Page of Swords reversed. The Chariot reversed. The Seven of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. All right, so we'll clarify each of these, but let's get into what I'm feeling from this spread here. All right, messages for Taurus. Okay. All right, so there's a, there's a, a, a spirit of a, the first thing I'm feeling is like there's some sort of challenge that may be coming up for you. It, it may happen rather quick, quickly. It, it has some, I don't know if it has something to do with a relationship or with your job. That relationship can show up in your family or your friendships as well. Uh, let's see, we, are, we have two major arcanas here and they're both in reverse. So... I'm feeling a shift in your energy here, Taurus, from our last reading of um, some maybe some blocked energy that could be coming up. But some of you could be going in the wrong direction or just feel I'm um, feeling a sense of the word that's coming up is carelessness. So some of you may be feeling like that. It's not going to resonate with every person out there, but there is some sort of blockage that I'm feeling uh, and, and I don't know. Are there obstacles that are stopping you from doing something, um, moving somewhere, moving into a new job? This could show up different for, from, from, for everyone because there, there could even be some issues with traveling that could be coming up as I'm looking at the Eight of Wands energy or a, gro a goal that you're trying to reach. There feels like something, okay? And that's just what I'm feeling from the spread. But very interesting how I feel like this has been a... A shift in energy where I feel like last month's energy was, you know, you feeling confident and you're just, you know, moving, um, moving on and, you know, life is looking good and you're feeling good and trusting your instincts. And then it feels like it's like, bam, it's like this. I don't know if there's a shock, something that happens unexpectedly for you that sort of puts you in a position where you have to sort of stop, like you have to stop the momentum of something very interesting so we'll get into that all right i'm going to start with your overall energy here overall energy we have the uh king of cups that's showing up for you all right king of cups energy so uh can we i'm getting uh you know pisces energy here some of you could be dealing with a pisces um aquarius as well so overall it feels like some of you are needing to um, man to manage your emotions, okay, and to s slow down in a way is what I'm feeling. It feels like there's a lot of things that are happening around you here, Taurus, and some of you may uh, be prone to just getting things done. You're you're an earth sign. You're the bull, so it's like you just sort of the bull just sort of runs, don't not thinking about what's going on around, but the, they already they have a target. Okay, when you think about a bull, they're running straight to the target. Okay, and, so, and, if, and you can sort of um, blind yourself. Everything else can become blurred. So it feels like there's some blurred lines somewhere. There's things that you may not be paying attention to that's happening in your environment because you're so focused on just moving, going, and getting there. Okay, so it feels like 
there is going to be there could be a slowdown that could be happening for some of you here as well and maybe this is that some of you are needing to pay more attention to yourself and what you're feeling give more to yourself it does feel that some of you may be in a position where you're getting all of the, you're doing a lot of things and some of you are even in a lot of you're I'm, I'm seeing an environment where there's a lot of people around but you still feel a sense of loneliness very interesting here it's almost like there's a void that some of you may be experiencing you may not be talking about that now but whatever this is I feel like you're in this position of um, wanting to sit down okay this month is about you just sort of sitting down and really feeling the emotions kind of reminds me of the Aries reading that I just did of Aries needing to really feel during the month of July and so it feels like that is a theme for the two of you for both zodiacs to sort of sit down and feel regardless of what is happening around you this is a time to sort of to sort of hone in and, and sort of tune in I should say into what it is that you're feeling because your emotions have been all over the place for some of you most recently or you're feeling that energy now and spirit is asking you to just sort of sit down and tune into this so this could be a good idea this month for you to start meditating or journaling connecting in nature go to go sit under a tree go uh, you know go to the beach go to uh, a body of water if you're near a body of water and just sort of sit and contemplate this I do see some of you sitting like cross-legged like Indian style we call it and sort of just grounding and, and and looking out into the water and really tuning into your emotions because I'm feeling some of you have been emotionless okay what and that could show up in your in your environment with how you respond to people or some of you have just been putting your emotions on the back burner and like I said like the bull that you are you're just going Okay, so that's what that feels like here. Let me clarify this King of Cups for you. Why is the King of Cups here? Oh, hello. All right, so two cards fell out, and I will take both of those here. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Strength card that is showing up. All right, Knight of Pentacles, your energy, and then we have Leo here. So it, I feel like this is an opportunity this month for you to be cautious, sort of stand still, take your time. And I, I feel like we've talked about that in the past readings as well as sort of take your time with something that you're working on or moving towards. Because it definitely feels like you have a lot of responsibilities on your plate here, Taurus. And sometimes because there's so many things happening in your environment some of you could be making irrational decisions but again spirit is asking you to be cautious okay so that lets me know it's just to slow down that's what that feels like and sort of trust the process some of you are trying to make things happen and try to force things to happen that aren't meant to happen in this moment or not even meant to happen in general but you're trying to make it happen because that's your personality and that's how you roll but slow down because the knight of pentacles is all about sort of taking their time and sort of like you know sifting through the emotions sifting through you know the the plan and then and then moving into it but there's there's no rush to get there okay so this is double confirmation with the king of cups and the knight of pentacles to sort of slow down and see things although there's a lot of a lot of things going on around you okay i do feel like there is going to be clarity that you that comes towards you during this month if you let yourself slow down here okay some of you are fearing things here with the strength card but this is also about showing compassion which i think i've already no mentioned that with the king of cups is showing compassion to self and others around you and not getting so caught up in i'm, I'm in the ego spirit is saying some of you are drifting okay so I don't know if you're escaping or you're drifting away from someone but whatever this is here I definitely feel like you are coming towards uh, a level of strength and love for self where you have a realization that of what's going to be best for you moving forward the number eight is all about magic okay it's all about manifesting wealth but balance is, is, is also very important and that's what the king of cups is all about is about balance so this month is 
finding balance. What can you do for yourself here, Taurus, that's going to sit you down for a little bit, make you tune into what it is that you're feeling so that you can balance your emotions? Those are questions that you can ask yourself. Your obstacle or challenge during this month, we have the Page of Swords that is coming out for you reversed. Okay. Some of you um, have a... Is it, is, is it an issue? Some of you have an issue with caring too much about what other people think of you or how you do things. So there's fear that comes up for some of you. You may feel that. Some of you may be feeling the fear in your body. As I'm looking at the King of Cups again, the King of Cups reminds you to feel your emotions. And some of you don't want to feel that. You just want to get things done. Okay, and so this is saying that there, when that fear, that the fear comes up, it inhibits you from taking action. It's because fear is reminding you to take a step back and tune into yourself. And remember, I said earlier, I believe I said with you, I'm feeling a careless energy come up. This page of swords is about carelessness. Okay, so watch that emotion as well. So it seems like a lot of thoughts that are coming up for you because of the page of swords connected to your thoughts, your mental. There's a lot of things that you're thinking about. Your ego could be getting in the way during this time. And you're really trying to balance logic and intuition during this time. And for some of you, you're in this position where you're just when you think it, you get it done. And some of you are not feeling. So that becomes a challenge for you as well. Okay. So this is an opportunity for you to communicate more and communicate more effectively, okay? Because the Page of Swords is also poor communication because this is someone who isn't as emotionally mature and can't always articulate what they're feeling. They just rather show you, like, I'm just going to take action. I'm just going to do it. That's the energy that I'm feeling free for you. And sometimes the action is too much. Sometimes the action really doesn't match what the emotion is, okay? I just, again, feeling some of you are just really, really just hitting the ground running and doing whatever you need to do because that is just the norm. This is an opportunity for you to take a step back, okay? Interesting. So there could be some news that come in for some of you during this time that may even make you pause for a second, okay? And for some of you, that feels challenging that you have to take a step back from all of the things that you need to do. And so um, that could definitely be a challenge. Let's clarify this page of swords. We have the, uh, the three of wands and we have the seven of pentacles. So some of you are waiting for something, an opportunity, waiting for someone to say something to you. Like whatever this is, whatever this is, the spirit is letting you know that you're 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 a step away from it. But are you ready to are you ready to take this head on, whatever this is? This definitely feels like an energy that is the, that is opposite of what you normally do or opposite of who you are. And it feels like a challenge because now you have to. Now it's like I have to do something new. I have to approach things differently. I have to step up my communication game. I have to actually share my emotions. Whatever this is feels definitely challenging for you. But I do feel as like some of you have been working on it and trying to work through it and have been in this place where you're trying to reflect and let a lot of things go. Um, but it is challenging. It is challenging for some of you because you are you have um, accomplished so many things in your life by doing the doing things the way that you do them and this is an opportunity for you to make a change three plus seven is ten one plus zero is one so it feels like this is a new a time for you to make some sort of change the number seven is a very spiritual number as well but this is uh, also personal challenges in secrecy so lets me know that there are things that you've been holding on to that you're trying to move through okay and you're going to be challenged to move through some of the obstacles that you may have been faced with during um you know your life in general okay so the month of july is a month of reflection and speaking your truth and really feeling um feeling and articulate articulating what you're feeling we had the chariot that came up reversed in um your position of where you're headed during this time 
So, oh, I actually didn't go. Let me let me pull that card out. I forgot I actually didn't go over that card. All right, so the chariot here reversed where you're headed during this month. Some of you may have a little bit of uncertainty around um, a relationship, a job on if there if this is going to if this is direction the direction you should be going in or will you be successful in this whatever it feels like an inner a blocked energy that you know some of you are experiencing where you feel like you're out of control or have a lack of control and for you Taurus that feels like a lot not having any control is a big thing for you so it makes you feel like you're uncertain about what the future holds or what the future brings and then it, it's a lack of willpower that comes up and some of you may want to uh, want to give up okay because you feel like maybe am I am I going in the wrong direction there's a lot of questioning things when things don't unfold the way that you think they should and this is why the king of cups is here and reminding you to sort of sit with your feelings sit with your emotions let's clarify this but um, there definitely feels like as I'm looking at the Sphinx in black and white, there's like no great area for you. It's either this way or that way. But then it also lets me know that there's an imbalance that is coming up for you. Things seem very mysterious. The number seven is connected to spirituality and spirituality is kind of correct connected to mystery. But also there is a level of wisdom that comes with this as well. But that the hidden information that's coming up or you feel like something is not right, you don't have clarity around whatever this is, it's time for you to sort of sit with it. So the chariot is usually about taking action when it's in the upright position, but because it's reversed, it's like you need to take a step back. You need to slow down. Look at that, the tower and the king of pentacles coming out, king of pentacles coming out for you reversed. Let's see. So we have two major arcanas, the chariot and, and the tower. Very interesting. So this tower is, is definitely saying like you you have to you have to take you have to take some time to to whatever. Soak up whatever this is that spirit is trying to come in. Soak up what? Soak up whatever wisdom and knowledge that is coming your way. Soak up the understanding that things are not things are not always working in your favor because you think that they're supposed to. They're going to happen in right timing, whenever that right timing is. And sometimes what you think is right for you may not even be the right direction for you here, Taurus. So I'm also I'm feeling this level of trust. The tower is very an, an upheaval, some sort of chaos that could be coming up. And I feel like for some of you, this could be internally because the chariot is here reversed where you feel like you feel imbalanced and you're feeling a lack thereof. So spirit is asking you to just sort of sit in this shadow. OK, sit in the shadow because some of you have not given yourself the opportunity to sort of sit and feel what you need to feel so that you can move on again. You're just going, going, going. The number 16 again that reduces to the number seven very interesting that it's like seven 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 that i was just talking about here we just pulled yeah we pulled the seven of pentacles the chariot which is number seven and then the tower which breaks down to a seven so we have two seven some of you are seeing 77 you're seeing seven 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 this is a major a major spiritual breakthrough okay and there can be some sort of disruption of your normal environment and that's going to feel uncomfortable but this is an opportunity for you to release okay because some of you have been putting something above all else whether you have just been working really hard and not thinking about your family or your friends or even taking care of yourself it feels like again like i said an imbalance that has been happening and this is an opportunity for you to balance everything across the board in your life you've been focusing on whether it's I want someone to love me or I want to make I'm trying to make the bag or I'm trying to do buy this house or I want this new car you're putting it's almost like you some of you have put all of your eggs in one basket and it sort of left everything else to just um, you know work itself out but you actually are going to be in a position this month to uh, of working some things out okay so this king of pentacles is like there's this stubborn sort of selfish energy this is capricorn energy but because you're an earth sign i feel like this is your energy here where you may not want to do the work because it just seems like too much and again i'm i'm I keep coming back to this energy of you like to do things the way that you want to do them and sometimes you don't hear other people's advice or suggestions 
or you're just not listening because your way works the best way, okay? But there is some sort of change or shakeup that is coming up for you. And some of you may be feeling an energetic, like a, a lethargic or fatigue because I feel like spirit is trying to get you to sort of tune into yourself to see what it is that you need to get your energy back up to move forward, okay? So make sure that you are, are balancing during this month, which is sort of like your advice. We have the Seven of Wands here, what's happening in your near future. There is some sort of opposition where you, I feel like you kind of, I'm feeling some of you may be feeling defeated or you may be feeling defeated now or this is coming up for you. But I feel like something that you have, you know, you're constantly working on where you have to defend it, okay, where you're in some sort of opposition. You keep fighting something and trying to stand your ground. I know that you're in the position of wanting a favorable outcome, but I feel like there are lessons in this. And look at this, number seven again. So we've had four number sevens already. Yep, four number sevens already. Very, very interesting here. Huh. But seven times four is 28. Two plus eight is 10. One plus zero is one. So this is a start to something. And remember, we pulled a three and seven earlier. So we have 10, 10. Some of you are seeing the number 10, 10. Look that number up. Let us know what the 10, 10 means in the comment section below and what that means to you. So 10, 10. Seven are your numbers. So you're seeing sevens, you're seeing tens, you're seeing ones. This is a change, a very a spiritual change for some of you as well. And not to force things, okay? But Spirit is saying to be brave enough to get through whatever this is. Seven of Wands here in your near future. Let's clarify this and see what is coming up for you. So it definitely feels like you're doing some shadow work during the month of July. And I feel like there is a shift, a change within some of your personalities as well. Because remember, it's not the number seven is about um, pers personal challenges. Could even be things coming to the surface, things that were hidden or things that you have been holding on to now coming to the surface to, and it may not, it may look unfamiliar to people and some of you are not wanting to rock the boat, ruffle the feathers, you know, with how people see you. And um, and maybe for some of you who are going, 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 this is an opportunity for you to be lazy in a way and sort of take care of yourself. And that may look different to other people. Like, why aren't you taking care of me like you normally do? Okay. So different things are coming up with that energy. But in the near future, we have the King of Wands reversed as well as the Page of Wands. All right. So... I do feel like some of you are going to have to be ruthless with your energy. Very, very interesting. That message is, is coming through. This definitely points to what I'm saying is some of you have been doing too much, helping too much and really taking away from yourself. That also affects your health. It also affects, affects your physical body as well as your mental body, your mental, your mindset as well. And I feel like you may have to be ruthless with your actions and how you respond and how you show up and you're going to have to pull back a little bit okay you're going to have to step into this king of swords energy this king of swords could be cold-hearted sometimes could even be abusive i'm not saying to be abusive we don't want that but i definitely feel like you're going to have to retreat in some sort of way but some of you may find yourself in this king of swords position when you're you know you're being um, malicious you're being cold hearted. You could be abusive, abusing your power in some sort of way or trying to get things. You have ulterior motives and how to um, how to get things. You know, the king of swords can be a kind person, but he has asshole as, you know, his sidekick. So, you know, making sure that if you're taking care of yourself, you, you won't be in this energy. Obviously, if you're taking care of yourself, mind, body and spirit. But there's frustration that comes up for you here because you're constantly going back and forth and battling something or someone and it feels uncomfortable the personal challenges that you may be facing and you may not understand fully what they are and so you find yourself in a frustrating position but like I said page of wands energy here this is an opportunity for a spiritual level up so I do feel like there is an opportunity for you to some of you are feeding off of other people's energy or you're feeding off of you know the um the anger, the ruthless actions, whatever this is, I feel like something's got you fired up here, okay, during during this month, whatever that is going to be for you. Something's got you fired up, but I do hope that, that, that you can channel that energy into something positive, okay, because this is all about, the wands are about growth and about taking action. So I do hope that you can 
uh, shift and redirect this energy so that you're not in this place of being combative, defensive, being the a-hole, like all of those things. And not calling you one, but I'm saying we all have, we're human, we can have that in us. And you can find yourself feeling that during this month. Your advice for the month is the Eight of Wands. All right, the number eight is here. It's about manifestation, wealth, balance, prosperity as well. But I definitely feel like there is going to be a shift, and that shift could happen rather fast. So something is accelerated, whatever this is. And I feel like for some of you, it's your spirituality. As soon as you sit down and say, I'm going to take care of myself, mind, body, and spirit. Some of you are needing to take care of your health as well. Things are going to be ch begin to change rapidly. So it's it's fast. There may even be some information, some communication that could be coming in. Some of you could be traveling as well. But again, the Eight of Wands brings a message of good news. Um, but I feel like that. I feel like that news. Let me clarify this. Why is the Eight of Wands here? We have the Two of Wands reversed and then the Knight of Cups. All right, so let's see what this is. Like I said, some of you are dealing with a Pisces. Could even be dealing like a Cancer or a Scorpio as well. Um, another Earth sign. I do feel like there could be some, some communication coming in from someone as I'm looking at the Knight of Cups coming in. There's some sort of change or realization or something that is happening. Um, that's happening here. It feels like. This could be you in a dual energy, really trying to balance that in, in, that energy, that intellect, the logic and intuition of your, you know, connecting to your emotions. But some of you may find yourself shifting in your moods during this month as well, because there's a lot of um, there's some upheaval going on, but there's some some ebbing flowing, some up and down of, of, in your emotions that you're feeling this month because there is um there is some things that you're uh, you're unclear about, so you're not sure how to move forward, and there's frustrations that come in with that as well. Okay, so keep that in mind here. Let me see if there's something else that's coming up from this Eight of Wands. I keep looking at that Eight. I do feel like there's some sort of realization that could be coming up that could make you impulsive or impatient in some sort of way. Make sure you're not making hasty plans. Make sure you sit in, you're not rushing things, okay? Because some of you could feel yourselves being indecisive about something, but you still want to make it happen. So take your time in not making rushing into things um, because you might find yourself feeling indecisive. And as you're shifting right now, Taurus, being in that position of being able to make clear decisions on where you're going to go and then now being in the position where you're like, I'm unclear, I don't know, can bring on frustration, but make sure you're not rushing into anything, okay? Your final outcome is the Nine of Pentacles is coming out for you reverse. So some of you could be ignoring... Um, some of the things that you're trying that you're that's coming up for you you could be ignoring um, <laughs> some of the things that you need to be paying attention to when it comes to other people's behaviors and how they respond to you like it feels like a transition of some of you may even be changing relationships or moving away from relationships because I'm getting like the nine of Pentacles where she's reversed so it's she could feel lonely and empty and depressed and just sad dissatisfied with life and where life is going so you can find yourself indulging in other things because you're trying to um, redirect your attention somewhere else remember I talked about taking that frustration the anger whatever it is coming up for you and sort of channeling that for something good for yourself so make sure that you know some of you you may get in this place of just making changes that um that you're not that you're really t that you're taking care of yourself the Spirit is saying to let you know that you're not alone, okay? Four of Swords reversed and the Six of Pentacles, and it's the same thing I said, needing to take a step back for some of you, okay? And really pay attention to your health, okay? Your health is part of your wealth, is what Spirit is saying. That stuck energy can um, also let, it lets me know that some of you may have some energetic Things that are lying dormant within you that you need to let go of. So even seeking out a facilitator for energy work or a spiritual advisor or a healer 
or a counselor or some sort of way to let whatever this is go because some of you are tired okay you hear me some of you are tired of these same things and feel like you have no time off or you have no time to yourself but spirit is wanting you to make time for yourself because this is a spiritual upgrade and you're definitely needing healing here Taurus okay so keep that in mind because some of you are restless may have a difficult time relaxing um, and even if you were sick, I feel like it's like a, an adequate recovery. So it's like you're not fully healed. So some of you are still trying to push through things and you're not 100% healed. Okay. Six of Pentacles energy here. I definitely feel like this is like your energy of always wanting to sort of give back and be charitable. But I feel like you have to give this to yourself. Okay. I feel like this is the gift that the gift is going to be the gift that keeps on giving but you have to you have to be charitable to yourself in that way so that you can continue giving giving to others okay because the six again is all of, it's also about balance and harmony and that is the most important that is the repetitive message that keeps coming up in your reading here uh Taurus that it's to focus on balance and harmony okay um reciprocity giving to yourself what you give to others okay what you give towards you get to keep so you're giving out frustration and attitude and ruthless and all of that expect that back but if you're giving here's the t here's the thing for those of you that are giving the love and you're being charitable and you're doing all these things for other people and neglecting yourself now you take this opportunity to give to yourself guess what people are going to give back to you as well they're seeing that you're taking care of yourself and may you know you may have to set some boundaries you may have to have a clear understanding especially if those of you that are with a partner like hey I'm going to do this for myself if it's out of the norm expect a little bit of conflict that may come up for you initially but set those boundaries and they will appreciate your boundaries okay 100 percent boundaries we call them boundaries for a reason, okay? And people will respect your boundaries. But but definitely put that energy into yourself here. Balance and harmony is your key for the month of July, okay? So it seems like here for Aries and Taurus energies that we, um, signs, you're doing a lot of uh, in spiritual work. Spirit is saying groundwork. So again, getting out and grounding as well. So you're setting a new foundation for this new adventure that you're going on. And that adventure is your spiritual upgrade. And we don't know how that's going to show up for you. But right now, it feels uncomfortable at times. But I definitely feel like you'll make your way here. Okay, Taurus? So that is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonates with you, be sure to like this, comment below, share with your family and friends. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy the month of July, and I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.